Hello, welcome to my channel and welcome to the first video that is officially part of Vlogmas because it is December 1st. If you're watching this video, the day it goes live. My first couple of Vlogmas videos every year are always something pre-recorded. I love the consistency of having a video every day in December, but I don't want to start vlogging until the first and I need a couple of days to get things turned around. So the first video, December 1st, is typically my December goals video where I sit down and I share with you how my goals from last month went, all the action steps that I picked, how they went, how they didn't go, and then all the action steps I have picked for December. This year is already a little bit different because I have not filmed one of these in a couple of months. Normally I'm doing them every single month and you kind of have a sense of what the goal is before I talk about how it went, but I haven't filmed them for the last few months because I have been out with my newborn little girl. And that has definitely had an impact on my goals in a number of different ways. Some of them more difficult and some of them honestly a little bit more invigorating. And I'll probably talk about that a little bit more maybe during Vlogmas or during like the blog part of Vlogmas or during like my 2024 goals videos. I'm not sure yet. This video is probably going to be long enough without me going into how much I love her and how much she inspires me to be the best me. But I am going to start by talking about my November action steps and how they went. The goals that these action steps are attributed to, the Q4 goals that I set, I set those actually before my daughter was even born. So you can go back and watch that video where I talk about my Q4 goals and truthfully nothing really shifted about those overarching core quarterly goals. The ones that I picked to focus on in Q4 worked for me. I had originally thought I wasn't going to start them until November and I actually ended up starting them in October because she also came three weeks early. And so instead of it being having a one week old, I had a one month old going into October. So I did set a few goals in October. I posted about those on Instagram. I shared my October goals and then I also shared my November goals before November started. But in this video, I'm going to talk about which ones I did and which ones I did not do. So let's start with the one-time action steps. The first one-time step was to get out or to work on, well, let me just say, I wrote down holiday cards. I didn't actually know what I was trying to get done in November. I think I thought I wanted to get them done and sent out or at least like ordered, but then I realized that I actually wanted to be able to take a family picture as close to sending them out as possible, right? I wanted her to be as old as possible. So. I switched that action step and I clarified to make it just the addresses and get those all situated. Now I have done my part. I then sent, which is why it's all checked off. And then I sent the spreadsheet over to my husband and said, here are the ones I know that need updates. There's like a couple of his friends that I know have moved. And is there anybody you want to take off or add to this list before I order cards? And I asked him to send me his updates by December 1st. And so he hasn't yet, but it's not December 1st. So that for me is checked off, although it's not totally done, but I, we're going to take a family picture soon. I'm hoping maybe in the next week or so. I'm not, we're not getting professional ones done for the holidays. We're just doing like my mom or my sister will take a picture of the three of us and then we will get those holiday cards ordered. You'll see that spoiler alert on my December list. Next up on my November action items was a date night. And this quarterly goal, I guess did shift a little bit. So I originally had said date nights at home was my quarterly goal because I figured we'd be spending a lot of time at home and don't get me wrong. We absolutely are. But with her sleep schedule and both of us trying to get a good amount of sleep date nights, well, at least at nighttime at home is not really all that feasible. I would rather like get in bed and get a, a good night's sleep. And so we have done some things during the day, but I checked this one off because we did actually like leave the house and go on a date. We had tickets to go see a show. So we went out to dinner first and my mom watched her and it was, it was absolutely wonderful. I feel like I cheated a little bit, maybe putting it on here because it like the tickets were bought. So of course we were going to do it, but I put it down and checked it off anyway. The next one time step was to have a conversation with my husband about some 2024 planning related things. And I thought it would be better to try and do it in November and not worry about trying to squeeze it into all the stuff we have going on in December. But as you can see from my page, I never actually scheduled it. Like I didn't schedule the time. Like we didn't put it on our calendars to talk to each other. Not, not saying we didn't talk all of November, but you know what I mean? Like this was one of those conversations. I wanted to make sure that we were sitting down focused, but not like going on a date and going to dinner before a show. So that did not get done definitely carrying that over to December. The next one time step was to make a general December plan with my mom and my husband as 
as it relates to being able to plan things for work. I'm still kind of inching my way back into work. Like I'm not doing everything that I was doing before. Um, actually, I probably will never do everything I was doing before because I hired a VA to help me with some of the things because I knew I wanted to be able to spend time with my daughter. I, we do have childcare help with my mom, but it's not full time. And so managing that like who is watching her between me and my mom, my husband, so that we can all get what we need to get done done is it's something that we're still working on, but I wanted to, and in October, no, in November, we did it just kind of on a weekly basis, like taking it one week at a time. In December, I wanted to have like a, at least a somewhat of a monthly plan, knowing that we might need to make adjustments on a weekly basis. So we did that, I feel good about that. And then the last one was to send an email summary to my husband for the, like our finances. And it's a habit that I started back at the beginning of the year and was really good about it. And then it kind of fell off obviously because I stopped tracking things and I got back to tracking and I have been tracking, but I have been very kind of lazy about some of it. And so I, I didn't feel like our, the summary was a good representation. For example, I would go to Target and I would spend a bunch of money and some of it was groceries, some of it was baby stuff, some of it was me, some of it was gifts. Like it was a combination of things. And in the past I would like save the receipt and be really good about breaking out those different things. I haven't been good about that and I wasn't good about it in October so I didn't send the October email summary and spoiler alert I haven't been good about it in November and so he won't be getting a November summary either if he really wants to look at it he can log into the system we use which is YNAB and look at the categories I just he, some of the categories are a little bit wonky for the last few months and I'm actually not carrying that over to December well partially because I just told you my November numbers are also not all that great uh, so I'm just gonna wait and revamp that in 2024 all right, weekly action steps. The first one was the same like general planning that I talked about in the monthly section, but on a weekly basis, because like I said, in November we did it on a weekly basis. That one went really well. The next weekly step was to do reconciliation for YNAB. So one of the things YNAB does is it links up all of our bank accounts, but they also want you on a somewhat regular basis to reconcile that the amounts that they have match the amounts that you have. Yes, it would make sense that that would never be off, but trust me, it gets off and sometimes you have to figure out why. And I missed the first two weeks and partially because I was just feeling overwhelmed because I was afraid that they weren't gonna match and I didn't wanna have to deal with figuring out why they didn't match. And then I finally decided, you know what, I'm actually not gonna prioritize this. I should have just crossed it off instead of a, a lot, like put the dots, but the dots don't bother me. And again, I'm gonna re start reprioritizing or rebooting this in the new year. And then the last weekly action step or three times it was to get a workout in. And the first couple weeks I did two of three and then Thanksgiving week I only got one in. We had family here, there was a lot going on and I was not getting the same amount of sleep or quality of sleep that I typically was getting before. So I feel pretty good about that. I, I mean, I never got that third one in, but I think by having it there, it still motivated me. I am gonna carry that over in, into December. So we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get there. Daily action items. So the first one was to get outside. That was for both me and my daughter just to get outside and spend, like get some fresh air. We were pretty good about it before I was starting to work. I mean, we would just go for walks because we weren't doing anything else during the day. And the weather was still really nice, but I was afraid that as I started working again and the weather started to get cold, I was going to need to really prioritize spending time outside. So I put that down and we did that all but three of the days. One of those days, I think it was just like ridiculously cold and snowy and so that didn't happen. And I, honestly, the fact that we only missed three feels good. I don't really need to justify those. The next daily action item was to get back into the habit of the paired app with my husband. I talked about this, I think it was the goals video right before I went on maternity leave. I honestly don't remember. That we both downloaded this app and we started, yeah, cause it was a July goal that we started when we were on our baby moon and then carried it into August and probably even further than that. And before she was born, I didn't need to have it on my goals because it was a habit and I was just doing it, doing it every day. And then, and I had the notifications turned on, which I don't have a whole lot of notifications turned on on my phone, but this one I had turned on and when it would come up every day, I would do it. And then when my husband would do it, I would get notified and we would talk about it and it was, it was awesome. And then when she was born, <laughs> I got really behind. And he kept doing them every day. And so then I was like weeks behind and I felt, I was super overwhelming. So I turned off 
the notifications and and he kept doing them and finally he was like are you ever going to respond to them and I was like oh well I turned off the notifications because I was overwhelmed and then I forgot about it so I put it back on my goals in November to motivate me and encourage me to get back into it and it has worked and I did it I mean I guess it worked half of the time I did 13 of 26 days so far but way better than what I was doing before so feels good I am definitely carrying this over into December because 50% while awesome and way better than zero is still not where I want to be with this goal so I'm carrying it over the next daily action item is water and that one I felt like I needed to add to my goals because I just knew I was dehydrated I finally got back on the scale I wanted to just see where it was at and I have one of those fancy scales that measures like all of the other things and who knows how accurate it actually is but one of the things that measures is your water and my water was like way lower than what it was before and I could also just tell that I was dehydrated and I wasn't prioritized drinking water so I put that on my goals list for this one I hit it 18 out of 26 and given that I had a really low bar for myself um, which I'm not even gonna tell you what it was that is not great I still feel very dehydrated my number on, my, on the scale is still really low so I am going to continue prioritizing that in December. And then the last November one I had was to get all of my Apple Watch rings. And this was a good action step in theory. And if you watched in November, I did a bunch of action step series, which I, I think those videos are awesome. If you're looking for goal action step ideas for the new year. And one of those that I did was weight about weight loss and physical health and closing your Apple Watch rings is a great step, but honestly, it didn't motivate me. Like there was nothing about having it on this piece of paper that I did. I like went out of my way. The days I hit it, I was going to probably hit it regardless. And the days I didn't hit it, I was just like, oh, I didn't hit it. And I didn't get the check mark and it didn't phase me at all. I think for me at this point, unless I increase the number significantly and have to like go out of my way to do something different, it, it just wasn't, I don't know. It, it wasn't really motivating to me. So, I mean, I did it 18 out of 26. That, that's pretty good but I also like I said I don't think it I don't think I did anything different by having it on my goal sheet but sometimes that happens like it is some trial and error on figuring out what works for you and what doesn't work related to your goals and your action steps all right let's talk about December so I probably am a little bit ambitious with what I'm trying to accomplish in December but between all the holiday stuff that we have going on and getting back into work doing vlogmas and an extra set of goal setting workshops like it is, there's a lot going on, but yet I have every one time item filled out on my goals. So let's talk about them. The first one is carryover that I talked about in November and that is to have a conversation with my husband about 2024 planning in general, as well as just some other things that I wanna talk about that will impact our schedules and things for the new year. The next three steps are all related to getting my personal goals set up for 2024. So these are the three major bucket steps. Obviously within them, they have more steps like broken down within them. And if I don't get them all done in one chunk, that's totally fine. But it is to reflect on 2023, to pick and define my 2024 goals, and then to break down my 2024 goals. So I just need to schedule time to do that. I'm actually hosting workshops to walk you through all of these steps. And one of the things I've thought about is that I might do is watch the replay because at this point, given the day that I'm filming this video and the first workshop is in a couple of days and I and my mother-in-law is going to be here until the day before. So I don't think I'm going to get to my goals, at least that first step until that workshop happens. So I was thinking, what if instead I watch the replays of my own workshops and go through those steps? So I'm thinking that that's, that's going to be my plan, but I still need to put time in my calendar to watch the replays. Also, if you need help with your 2024 goals, you can still join and sign up for those workshops. If you are watching this video the day that it goes up, you still have time to join all of them live. If you're watching it at some later date, you might be able to join one or two of them live. Either way, the recordings are always gonna be there for you. So if you need that accountability of sitting down, pressing play and having somebody coach you through preparing all of your goals for 2024, highly recommend. I will leave that link down below. And then the last step, one time step I have for preparing my personal 2024 goals is a vision board. And I have this on there, but I may or may not get to it. I, I really, that's where I want it to go. It's right there in my office, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know yet. I haven't, I haven't really decided if it is something I want to do, if I'm going to have time to do it. Uh, and if it doesn't happen until January, that's okay too, because that's 
step obviously can't happen until I do the other steps. And by the time I get through the other steps, we are probably gonna get really close to the holidays and I just kind of wanna stop all, all the things, like all of the, I, I wanna just relax a little bit. I wanna be able to enjoy the holidays with my, I'm gonna say newborn, cause she's still my newborn, but as of the filming of this video, she is no longer a newborn technically, mm, sad. But I wanna spend, you know, enjoy the holidays, her first Christmas, and be with my family and just not worry about it. So it's on there. It may or may not happen in December. Next one time action step is back to the routine with my mom and Sam. And same thing as I talked about for December, I wanna do a monthly overview for January. The next one time step is related to finances and that is to move some money around. Uh, we had we had things set up a little bit differently when we were both on maternity, paternity leave. So I, I wanna, I need to, do some configuration with our different accounts. So that is a one-time step I wanna check off before the new year. The next one-time step is related to my physical health and that is to figure out what I want to do in January. So I am kind of jumping the gun because I was gonna talk about this in the weekly section, but currently what I've been doing is a postnatal, postpartum, I think there is a difference, but I can't remember what it is, but a post-pregnancy, program from my friend Justina. And the goal is to get through that by the end of December. And so if I do that, then what am I gonna do in January? And I've thrown around a bunch of ideas. I can't. I could just get back on the Peloton and do the Peloton. I could rejoin, I don't think I ever left, but I could reprint out the hardcore on the floor, which is the Peloton strength supportive calendar that somebody makes in a Facebook group. Some of the other thoughts I've thrown around, there is a gym nearby that I've thought about doing just a free one month trial to see if I like it. I really miss in-person workout classes. And before COVID, I was doing in-person workout classes at the gym, uh, at my office, and my in-person work office, <laughs> like what a concept. I was doing workout classes there. Then everything shut down. Well, then we, Sam, my husband and I joined Equinox for like four seconds. Right after we got engaged, we joined Equinox because we were like, oh, okay, we're gonna get in shape for the wedding together. And it was actually really awesome. We were taking classes together like four to five times a week. And we were definitely getting our value out of those classes. And then the world shut down. And so that was the end of that. And then when things opened back up again, I got back into dance. And so my rehearsals for the dance company to me were my in-person workout classes. Like it was fulfilling the need to work out and move my body with other people. Now that we live here and now that I am no longer miserably pregnant or postpartum, I, I really want to work out in person again in class format. I just push myself a little bit harder and I don't need that to be my only thing. I want it kind of to be a supplement of like using the Peloton still, uh, going for walks, etc. So the options there are this gym that's nearby that offers workout classes. And so I may do a free month there. Do I wanna do that in January when it's as cold as it is? I don't know yet, <laughs> but to see if I really like it. And then the other option is to re-sign up for ClassPass, which I was a member in New York for a very long time. I love, 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 loved ClassPass. Um, but I was grandfathered into a really good package in New York and then I stopped using it. And I'm thinking about signing back up again here. So same thing, I might do my free month and see if it is useful or good for me. The one-time goal, I feel like I just talked for a very long time. The one-time action step is to make that decision. What do I wanna do or try in January? And then the last two one-time steps are just getting everything out for the holidays. So getting the holiday cards ordered and sent and then getting gifts sent. Those steps also, like the goals, have multiple steps within it, right? The cards, it's like take the picture, order the cards, put the stamps on, get them in the mail, the gifts, I haven't done anything related to gifts as of the filming of this video. So it's like make the list, buy the gifts, wrap the gifts, mail the gifts, all the things. Sometimes the one-time steps are literally just that, like the moving money, right, is a one-time step that I will do in one sitting and then check it off. And sometimes it is a one-time overarching larger step that has step smaller steps within it. All right, weekly action steps. They are I just realized I put reconciliation again. I think I had written that. I think I brainstormed that and then made the de in December because I typically will start brainstorming pretty much right away. Like as soon as I fill out this page for the new month, I will print out the idea. Now at this point, this round, I will not do that because I don't know what my January brainstorm is. But throughout the year, I will print out the brainstorm page as soon as I am done setting up the current month. So I had reconciliation on my brainstorm page. 
and I made it on here and I didn't really want it to make it on here. So, oh well. Step one, weekly plan, same thing. Even though we have a general monthly plan for December, I still wanna check in with both of them on a weekly basis and make sure we're on the same page for the week. The next one is reconciliation. I am literally just gonna cross that off and I'm not doing that. And then the workout. So uh, like I said, I wanted to explain this a little bit more. So I talked about this a little bit on a on one of my live chats and somebody asked about consistency and I told them how consistency doesn't have to mean like exactly the same or every single day. And the workout program I've been doing is a, an example of that. So the the postpartum postnatal workout program is an eight week program is how she has it structured. And you have three workouts a week for eight weeks. I wanted to do it that way. That was the, that would have been the dream. And I started it after I got my approval from the doctor that I could work out again. And so I knew that if I did it in the eight weeks, that would get me through the middle of December. And if that was the case, awesome, I would figure out the last couple of weeks. But I also knew that I would probably skip a day or two. And so in my mind, I knew that I was just going to work out when I could, whether that was when I could physically, energy-wise, when I could time-wise, whatever that looked like. When I could work out, I would work out. And I would just do the next one on the list. And so I haven't really been following the schedule as it was laid out. So it actually took me six weeks to get through the first four weeks because there were weeks that I didn't do all three. Um, and I chugged my way along, but I did get through the first four weeks. Now I'm going to try to be a little bit tougher on myself and get through the the next four weeks in actually the four, next four weeks. So far so good. I'm one for one so far today y'all, but I'm trying to get through the four next four weeks and then I'm going to enjoy the holiday week with my family and then figure out what I want, like I said, what January to look like. So that's my goal. I just wanted to share a little bit more detail with you. Daily steps are not that complicated this month. The first one is the carryover of just using the paired app with my husband. The next one is doing December daily. I had this on my gold list years ago when I did December daily for the first time. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it is a scrapbooking memory keeping project where you do one page a day in December. It was created by Allie Edwards and she creates all these beautiful products to support you. I started it years, I think this is my fifth year doing it. And the first year I did it, I did also put it on my goals to hold me accountable. Then it just became a thing and I had a rhythm and a routine and it was fine and I just did it. I put it back on my goals this year because I might need a little bit of extra accountability to get through it this year with everything we have going on and things just looking different. And then the last one, like I said, I'm carrying over water again. I'm gonna up my goal slightly from last month. Not that much because I only hit it, what did I say, 18 out of 26 days. Yeah, so that doesn't feel totally good enough to, for me to increase it, but I really do need to be drinking more water. So I'm gonna increase it slightly over the goal I had for November and hopefully in total we'll be drinking more water in December. Okay. That is it. Those are how my goals are going. And this is going to be it for my 2023 goals. And we will have a complete 2023 recap. You know, in the past, I've really like broken it down into different chunks. And I have like a December recap and then a Q4 recap and then a 2023 recap. And I, I think I'm still going to do those in two. I think the way I have it planned right now is a December and Q4 recap together, then a 2023 as a whole recap. And then same thing on the other side. Then I'll do a 2024, like here are my 2024 goals. And then I will do here are, here is Q1 in January together. I think that's the plan. I may change my mind by the time we get there, but we're almost done with 2023. Let me know down in the comments. It's been so long since we've done one of these. Normally I ask you for what you're looking forward to and an action step upcoming. I want to celebrate your wins. I, I, I want to hear about what you've done since we haven't had one of these. Share a goal related win with me in the comments from the last few months. Anything you're proud of, I want to hear about it and celebrate with you. And please give this video a thumbs up before you head out. If you are new here, please click that subscribe button. I am uploading a video every day in the month of December. We have a couple pre-recorded videos for the next few days and then it will be daily vlogs. So click that subscribe button and I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. If he really wants me to send me, if he really, um, 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 um,